I want you to go back to your office and sit down and write out all the transferable skills you think you've developed while in graduate school. And then come back to me next week. So I sat down and I started to write. I said, grad school has certainly given me the ability to function in a wide variety of environments and roles. I mean, I was a, I was a research scientist. I was, a, uh, at times, a machinist. <laughs> I was a draftsman. Gosh, at times, I was a Xerox copy or repairman. I had to do all these things uh, in the course of getting through my degree. Teaching skills, being able to conceptualize and explain complex subjects, very important skill. Counseling and interview skills, public speaking experience. Supporting a position or viewpoint with argumentation and logic. Conceiving and designing complex studies. You know what? I kept writing and writing and writing and writing the rest of the afternoon. And the funny thing was, by the end of the list, I was feeling a little bit better about myself. And I went back to Al, and I proudly showed him my list, and he said, did you appreciate that a science degree teaches you these things? And the answer was, well, no, not really. I mean, this isn't the sort of stuff we talk about. In grad school, what we talk about is our science. We talk about our research, our publications. Those are the things that everybody tells me are important. All this other stuff, you know, we just sort of assume it's there, but we don't talk about it. The other funny thing about, um, you know, being a physics, you know, a, a scientist, especially a physical scientist, is that you've hung around with other people, other smart people for so long that you've forgotten many of the personal qualities that actually have made you quite exceptional. I mean, let's face it, people, you wouldn't be here today unless you weren't at least slightly brighter than average, right? But the funny thing is, is having hung out in an undergrad or grad school, for some of you postdoc, you've hung out with all these other smart people so long you've forgotten that you're smart. And in fact, when you look through this list, you have many of these personal qualities, but because, this, because the bar is set so high in academia, we tend not to think that they're special. I will tell you that employers in all fields are looking for people with these traits, and most employers who are not familiar with PhDs don't realize that PhDs actually possess them. That's one of the key strategies you have to adopt in your career, is tell stories about yourself where you embody these transferable skills and personal qualities, because the outside world doesn't know. 